Hi, I'm Hugo Thompson. This is the second of my videos, and uh, I would just like to say thank you for watching it. Uh, do watch the first one if you haven't seen it, and if the third one's out, watch that as well. This is first in kind of a line of videos on improving Vista. This particular video will be talking about how to improve uh, the performance. A couple of the things you'll probably know, a couple of them I don't think you will. There will be a third video which I'm pretty sure most people other than techie guys won't know. It does get harder, but I don't know why I said, no it doesn't really get harder. But it gets more interesting and more unusual, so uh, do be careful if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to start by clicking on start, but you can't see me clicking on start because my camera doesn't capture that. But I am clicking on start because you can see the start menu. So, uh, let's begin. I'll just click on start, and you'll see the start menu. Now, in the search bar, you're going to have to type in run. That's R-U-N. You could go on my programs, but it's easier to type in run in the search bar. Then it comes up with two options and a load of documents. You want the first option, it's blue. Uh, it's got a blue icon and it just says run. This is running programs which the computer has ingrained in it. So what the first thing you'll want to do is type in uh, a word, a word which you probably won't know. The word is musconfig. It is spelt M-S-C-O-N. F I G no capitals no spaces must config M S C O N F I G then you're going to want to hit OK okay uh, you won't be able to see this on the video but your screen may go blank and it will say something about some bullshit about a uh, uh, you're going into the systems operating blah 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 just click continue okay a little box will come up and the screen will go dark but just click continue don't worry about it, my camera doesn't capture that for some reason, but anyway, then this box will come up. There are one, two, three, four, five tabs at the top. You don't want the first one, you definitely don't want the second one. If you modify any of that, your computer could go bollocks, so don't. You want the third and fourth one. Let's start with the fourth one. Okay, so this is just all those programs which start when your computer starts. All those annoying little things which in fact slow down the computer and use up your RAM. Um, yeah, so basically, just you want to, there's a little tick box next to them, untick it. Yeah, untick the tick box, and uh, then that stops that starting um, when the computer starts. Uh, just a little tip definitely, you do not want to untick anything that says Microsoft Corporation next to it. Unless it's something like MSN or Windows Sidebar, maybe. You want to untick things like Google, Google Sidebar, Google Desktop, iTunes, QuickTime. You know, all these things are really annoying. Of course, I've done this before, so they'll already be unticked for me. But they won't be for you. Basically, yeah, everything on that menu will be ticked. So I want you to, uh, basically, to speed up your computer when it starts up which can be quite a slow time for many computers just untick loads of these uh, things in this menu uh, so go wild, use your judgement this could like do some shit to your computer if you do untick the wrong things so be very careful but I'm sure you will be just m make sure that you, you don't you know, mess anything up uh, so once you've, you've got down to the bottom of the list uh, and uh, me for the bottom uh, for me the bottom of the list is quite empty because I've done this before and at the bottom of the list there are things that you've already ticked off um, but just anything anything at all MSN Messenger that really pisses me off when that comes up I'm definitely unticking that McAfee Security Norton Security now this is your call it may affect your computer turning off the auto scan but it may not it may affect the computer stopping it starting up at the beginning but it may not so I'm gonna leave that up to you but just please do bear that in mind I don't want like uh, you turning off your internet security because you could do that bear in mind I think you can only do this on administrative accounts so just bear that in mind as well so once you've done all that you're gonna go on to the sec the third tab along which is processes now these processes are things which aren't just running at the beginning of your start of 
booting the computer, they're running the entire way through, you're using it. Again, using up RAM, blah, 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 Sl slowing down everything, even slowing down YouTube videos. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to untick these things as well. Now, what I've just done is I've ticked, uh, don't show any Microsoft uh, Corporation operations. Or or processes because um, you don't want those. Now I've unticked loads of these but just, just go wild, use your imagination but definitely don't again untick anything that says Microsoft Corporations. Okay so once you've done that you want to hit apply and then you want to hit OK. Uh, it'll ask you whether you want to restart your computer. Now I'm not going to do that because I want to continue with my video but you should for them to take effect. If you restart it later they'll still take effect but they just won't take effect immediately. Second thing, you're going um, second thing gets slightly harder, slightly more complicated. Not really that much more complicated, but if you're not very comfortable with Vista, I wouldn't do it. It's going to require you to go on Start again, and you won't be able to see me doing this, but I am. Then you're going to go on Control Panel. It's not on the programs, it's to the right, where your documents and so on are. Oh, click on that, you know the Control Panel thing. Most of you will probably know it reasonably well. Um, <coughs> now what you're going to have to go on... <coughs> Oh, wait for my silly, silly, silly computer to load. Okay, now what you want to go on is appearance and personalised. So just click on that only once. Don't double click because uh, I know some old people do that, but you don't actually have to. Now, what? you don't want any of this stuff which is in here. You don't want any of that. What you want is the stuff on the left hand side. You want the first option on the left hand side. Uh, just click on that once. I can't remember exactly what it's called. but it's something like system appearance or system operation system performance it could be um, 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 um yeah okay so you click on that once again and uh, it'll load and this will come up now what you want to do with this screen is don't worry about any of this stuff any of this crap here what you're going to want to do is go on the side Go on the left hand side and uh, click on views. Uh, the, the view, the performance and visual effects or something, something about visual effects. Now this shows you where you can disable visual effects. Isn't that great? So what that will do is stop your computer looking so nice, but still, but really, really speed up your computer. There are three bullet points at the top. Four, sorry. Uh, let Vista decide basically what's good for my computer. Do it best for performance or do it best for appearance. There's also custom. Now I'll show you what it looks like best for um, performance. Uh, d um, I if you click this, this, this is just going to take a while to load. Dum -de -de -dum -de 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 -dum -dum. Now after a while, um, well, after a while this will happen this will happen don't worry about it it's just the screen going dark and all, all the stuff being done now that will stay for a while and this see how it looks crap it looks horrible it looks old it looks like windows 2000 no one likes it but the performance is enhanced dramatically but you don't really want to do this you don't want to make you may want to make you look look your computer look terrible if it's running really slow on vista and if it's it's an old computer but you probably won't so i what i advise you do is uh, go on custom, the custom option, and just turn off some things like the shadow on stuff and and so on, shadow on windows, the see-through glass, you know, effect. Just 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 make sure that there isn't anything which you're not really going to notice up there. That's my advice to you, and that'll speed up your computer and not make it look absolutely terrible like it did look. Now we have to face that. Uh, so just again, you're, you're checking boxes. That's all you're doing. Checking, unchecking the boxes which you don't want, basically. Uh, once you've done that, you just click OK. And once you've unchecked all the boxes that you don't want, all the silly little effects that you don't want, all you have to do is uh, click OK. Uh, so you just scroll down. Bear in mind that you can scroll down. Now I don't want my computer looking like this. I'm going to tell Vista to to, to do it. But just you just just click OK going to tell this. Okay, so once you've clicked OK, um, all the greying out will happen and it will go back to 
it will adjust everything to how you wanted it. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. It's been really fun making this video. And um, have no doubt, I will make another one. Uh, so don't worry about that. Um, I hope you've really enjoyed it. I'm still loving Slipknot. If the background has changed, it doesn't mean I've stopped loving, loving Slipknot. It's just a different set of videos. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Subscribe!